Hello and welcome to This Date in History, also known as TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred to date in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but many things that we personally find intriguing enough for us to bring to you. The sources of this information comes from the smart device application, Today in History. What happened to date in history? Historical calendar. And the website on this day.com. For links to those sources, the music, and anything else we gather throughout the show, check the description. Anyway, I am A.O. Xander. I'm me. And today is Moon's Day, also known as Monday, May 2nd, 2022. <laughs> 1194, King Richard I of England gives Portsmouth its first royal charter. Nice. Uh, let's see, what appears to be 36 years later in 1230, William D. Bryos was hanged by Prince Lillywyn the Great. Well. Dale. Hmm. Also, 1536, Anne Boleyn, Queen of England, is arrested and a prison on charges of adultery, incest, treason, and witchcraft. Dang. 1559, John Knox returned from exile to Scotland to become the leader of the nascent Scottish Reformation. Cool. Welcome. Also, 1568, Mary, Queen of Scots, escapes from Loch Levin Castle. Nice. In 1611, the King James Version of the Bible was published for the first time in London, England, by Prince Robert Biker. Hmm. Nice. It's also, fun fact, the Bible does not say shit about committing tax fraud. <laughs> 1625, Alfonso Menendez, appointed by Pope Gregory the 15th as Latin Patriarch of Ethiopia, arrived at Belgul from Gaul. Ah. In 1670, King Charles II of England granted a permanent charter to the Hudson Bay's company to open up the fur trade in North America. Hmm? Nice. 1808, outbreak of the Peninsula War, the people of Madrid rise up in rebellion against French occupation Francisco de Goya. Later memor memorialized this event as his painting, the 2nd of May, 1808. I'm going to look that up real quick. The 2nd of May, 1808. Painting. Let's see here. Images. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's see here. Uh, four years later, in 1812, the siege of uh, Kualuthla during the Mexican War of Independence ended with both sides claiming victory after Mexican rebels under Jose Maria Morelos y Pavón Abandoned the city after 72 days under siege by Royalist Spanish troops under Felix Maria Calegia. Mm. Ooh. Also, 1829, after anchoring nearby Captain Charles Fermanto of HMS, HMS Challenger, declares the Swan River Colony of Australia. Moving on up into 1863, during the American Civil War, Stonewall Jackson was wounded by friendly fire while returning to camp after uh, reconnoitering during the Battle of Chancellorville. He will then succumb to pneumonia eight days later. Oh, Sto That's horrible. Stonewall That's Jackson got shot. <laughs> Back then, pneumonia was deadly. Even today, <coughs> pneumonia is deadly. Oh, yeah. No, I've had pneumonia. Um... It's deadly as What's interesting about pneumonia and really weird about the body, um, my mom, uh, during her last couple of weeks on this earth, um, she got pneumonia and she already had like a very rare, very aggressive form of leukemia. And then she got pneumonia and then the leukemia went into her lungs. You know, that's weird. But by then yeah. it was all over. But uh, yeah, pneumonia still takes people to this day. It's not, it's not a laughing matter. Oh, no, man, it's, it's still that powerful. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's but fluid it's in your lungs. it's now. Yeah, I've had it's pneumonia. It's more treatable now. Yeah. That's the only difference now. It's more treatable if caught mm -hmm. at the right moment. Yeah. Uh, let's see, where were we? Um, oh, uh, why don't you take uh, 1866 and 76? 1866. 
66 Peruvian defenders fight off the Spanish fleet at the Battle of Calo. Mm. Also, 10 years later, 1876, the April Uprising break out in Ottoman Bulgaria. Ah. I didn't know Bulgaria was a part of the Ottoman Empire. Now I do. Yeah, it makes sense. Where is Bulgaria? Let me look at this up here. Bulgaria. Eastern uh, Europe, somewhere. Oh, it's, uh, it's, yeah, okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, it's, um, it's, uh, northwest of Turkey, uh, which is the remnants of Ottoman Empire now. But, yeah, so that makes sense. Yeah. Ottomans were up there. Okay. Uh, anyway, in 1889, um, Menelik II, Emperor of Ethiopia, signed the Treaty of Wush Hale, giving Italy control over Eritrea. Hmm. 1906, closing ceremony of the Inclarte Games in Athens, Greece. Ah. Uh, intercalated. Intercalated. Okay, it must be some kind of Olympic type of thing. Moving on up into 1920, the first game of the, uh, I'm not allowed to say that word. Can you say that for me, please? I'm going to rewind the whole thing. 1920, the first game of the Negro National Baseball League, or well, League Baseball, is played in Indianapolis. Ah, cool. Nice. In 1933, Germany's independent labor unions oh. were replaced by the German Labor Front. Mm. 1941, the following coup d'etat against Iraq Crown Prince Abdul uh, Hala lay earlier this year that the United Kingdom losses the Anglo Iraqi War to restore him to power. Ah, cool. But, uh, nah, it's like, nah, we can't, we can't let it happen like that. Get your ass back on that crown, Mike. <laughs> You're going back on that throne, damn it. <laughs> Four years later, in 1945, during World War II, the Soviet Union announced the fall of Berlin. Also, keep on going. You can have that one too. Oh, also in 1945, it's World War II as well. During all that time, a death march from Dachau to the Austrian border was halted by the segregated uh, All Nice 522nd Field Artillery Battalion of the U.S. Army in southern Bavaria, saving several hundred prisoners. Cool. Nice. Also, in 1945, World War II, the surrender of Austria comes into effect with German troops in. Italy sees firing. Good. Well, after their leader's dead, yeah. there's no point of fighting. That's true. No, both of the leaders are dead. And Goebbels. Yeah. That's right. You take the next one. Nin also 1945, World War II, the U.S. 82nd Airborne Division liberates Wobbenlin concentration camp, finding 1,000 dead prisoners, most of who starved to death. That sucks. <coughs> Pardon me. 1952, a D. Halloween Comet makes the first jetliner flight with fair paying passengers from London to Johannesburg. Johannesburg is right? in South Africa, right? South Africa, yes. Okay. Eleven years later, in 1963, Berthold Seliger launched a rocket with three stages and a maximum flight altitude of more than 100 kilometers uh, near Cuxhaven. This was the only sounding rocket developed in Germany. Hmm. Mm, cool. 1964, the first ascent of Sisha Pernagam, the, the 14th highest mountain in the world and the lowest of the eight thousanders. Ah. Fourteenth. Also in nineteen sixty four, but during the Vietnam conflict, an explosion sunk the two US aircraft carrier or sunk the uh, US aircraft carrier USNS card while it was docked in Saigon. Wow. That's a loss. Uh, two Viet Cong combat oh. swimmers had placed explosives on the ship's hull. She was later raised and returned to service less than seven months later. Okay, so never mind on the lost part, but still. Like, that thing came up, I'm back, bitch. Yeah. Like I lived. Yeah. Also, in 1969, the British ocean liner Queen Elizabeth II the first time made a voyage to New York City. New York City. Yep. Also, 1970, a... Um, 
ALM Flight 980. This is the Caribbean Sea near Bay Crook, killing 23. Dang. Two years later, in 1972, in the early morning hours, a fire broke out at the Sunshine Mine located between Kellogg and Wallace in Idaho, causing the deaths of 91 workers. I like how I said ditches and not crash. Ditches? No, it ditches. Oh. Oh, uh, fight, not, not 80, ditches. Like, the fight, like, clear the ditches. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the airplane, airplane just... People in the, air. the airplane just popped out of existence, all the passengers just floating. Oh, shit! <laughs> that sounds like a cartoon. Okay. <laughs> 1982, Falkland War, the British nuclear submarine HMS Conqueror sinks the Argentine cruiser ARA General Bergano. Hmm. Four years later, in 1986, during the Chernobyl disaster, the city of Chernobyl was evacuated six days after the disaster. I thought the power plant was called Chernobyl and the city was Pripyat. Yeah, the city around it. Okay. Chernobyl Power Plant is a part of the city. Pripyat uh, Pri uh, Pri uh, is a city next across from it. Okay, so there's two cities. I think so, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. <coughs> 1986, the Cold War of Hungary begins. It's not in this border fence with Austria, but allows a number of East Germans to defect. Mm. Six years later, in 1995, during the Croatian War of Independence, the Army of the Republic of Serb Krajina fired cluster bombs at Zagreb, causing the deaths of seven and wounding over 175 civilians. That ain't nice. But yeah. Killing civilians wins wars. Oh, okay. let me finish. I'm gonna let oh, finish. No, go ahead. 1998, the European Central Bank is founded in Brussels in order to define and execute the European Union's monetary policy. Yeah, uh, another Rothschild trick. I mean, there's shenanigans. One year later, in 1999, the Panamanian general election of 1999 saw Maria Masoko become the first female to be elected president of Panama. Nice. Panama's nice. beaten us. You know? Uh, no. The woman we had an idea for is a wicked woman. Well, you know, I'm not talking about electing her. Like, you know, no, do not elect her. I'm just saying in a general sense. Like, I'm not championing Hillary at all. You know, she... She should be put on a spaceship and launched into deep space never to return, you know? Nah, she needs to be shut up Godzilla's ass. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking no, of no, the Clintons... No, never mind. I take that back because uh, that would be unfair for Godzilla. Yeah. Well, speaking of the Clintons, check this out. Year 2000, President Clinton announces that accurate GPS assets will no longer be restricted to the military. Oh, United States military. Yeah, it's so still not fucking accurate. Yeah, yeah. Well, what what can you do? Anyway, moving on up into 2004, the Yellow Massacre concluded. It had begun on the February 4th in 2004 when armed Muslims murdered 78 Christians at Yellow. In response, about 630 Muslims were killed by Christians on May the 2nd. Well, you know, you might kill us, but we'll kill a lot more of you. So watch out. Mm -hmm. um, in 2008, Chilean volcano begins erupting in Chile, forcing the evacuation of more than 4,500 people. It's a lot of people. Yes, it is. Why don't you take the next 28? Also, uh, 2008, Cyclone Nargis takes make landfall in Burma, killing over 138,000 people and leaving millions of people homeless. Good lord. Yeah. That's insane. Moving on up into 2011, which was only 11 years ago, Osama bin Laden, a suspected mastermind behind the September 11th attacks, and the FBI's most wanted man was killed by the United States Special Forces in Abbottabad, Pakistan. And uh, there's a lot of controversy, you know, like despite what he did, they gave him his his uh, due respect burial by burying him at sea. So there's no body. 
Uh, all the people who were uh, members of the SEAL Team 6 who actually raided uh, that compound in uh, Abbottabad, all of them died within, like, you know, a month or two, you know, in one way or another. Yeah, I did. Yeah, What's I thought... Dead? What's the fucking woman now? What? What's the woman now? I thought they all got killed in various other combat it's... operations. Yeah, Christian Beck... Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, Christian Beck's alive. Hmm. Is he the only one, though? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, well, one got turned off. One became a woman. Ah, uh, well, then he's part of the powers that be. Whatever. Anyway, what else happened in 2011? 2011, the E. coli outbreak strikes Europe, mostly in Germany, leaving more than 30 people dead, as many others are taken ill. Dang. Yeah, I remember that outbreak, uh, E. coli. Um, anyway, 365 days after that, in 2012, a pastel version of The Scream by Norwegian painter Edvard Munch sold for $120 million dollars in a New York City auction, setting a new world record for a work of art at auction. Good lord. In uh, 2014, two Muslims in Badakasha, Afghanistan, leads up to 2,500 people missing. That's not good. Well, before we get into person deaths, any articles uh, spark your interest today? Uh, the Payton, the Scream, and uh, Osama bin Laden getting killed. President Clinton announcing that TPS, Panama's first female president. Yeah. The Chernobyl disaster. Of course. The conqueror sinking Argentina cruiser. <coughs> Argentine cruiser. Don't forget uh, about that plane that just like you know GTFO yeah. out of there. And the plane that the plane that was ditched. Yep. Which is yeah. It just ditched. And then the sinking of that aircraft carrier that eventually came back. So that's good. Um, yeah, uh, the first jetliner with uh, fare-paying passengers. That's pretty interesting. Yep, that is yeah. also too. Samuel so, Jackson being shot by friendly fire. Oh yeah. There's uh, a lot of interesting ones here today. Am Boyle being arrested in a prison on charges of adultery, incest, treason, and witchcraft. Yeah. Yeah, Anne Boleyn, right? Yeah. yeah. And that's it. Yep. Getting into bursts, why don't you start us off here? Um, let's see here. Yeah. 1360 Yongle Emperor of China. Yeah, yeah, it's just, uh, he's a, that's, his name is not Yongle. This guy was nameless. He's, he's an emperor who is a Yongle, I think. That's what it is. Because there wasn't a comma or anything. It was just straight things. So, whoever that guy was, that's when he was born. Doing a bit of a time jump here to 1702, we have Frederick Christoph uh, Oetinger, or Oetinger, a German theologian and theo theosopher. What's a theosopher? Philosophical the theories. Um, theosophy. Theosophy is a religion established in the United States during the late 19th century. It was founded primarily by the Russian immigrant Helena Blavatsky and draws its teachings predominantly from... Uh, Blavatsky's writings. So it's a religion. It's interesting. Hold up. Okay. Okay. Uh, 1815, William B. O. Richards, an Indian lawyer and judge who was the first Chief Justice of Canada. Nice. 1828, we have Desiree Charnay, French archaeologist and photographer. And then 1859, we have Jerome K. Jerome, an English author and playwright. But what, was, what did the K stand for? Jerome Klapka. Jerome. How about the Jerome, Jerome, Jerome. <laughs> Jerome, Jerome. In uh, 1867, Giuseppe Morello, Italian American master. 1882, we have Isabel Gonzalez, a Puerto Rican activist who helped pave the way for Puerto Ricans' U.S. citizenship, to, even though they still can't vote to this day. Which is really lame, honestly. They should be able to vote. Yeah. 19, uh, 1890, E.E. E. Smith, American engineer and author. His actual name is Edward Elmer Smith. 
So let me add that in real quick. Uh, and in 1892, we have Man uh, Manfred von Richthofen, a German captain, pilot, and ace. He was the Red Baron. Happy birthday, Red Baron. Nice. Yeah, Manfred von Richthofen. Yep. 1897. 1897. John Frederick Coots, American singer. I thought he was a songwriter. Songwriter. Yeah. 1901, we have Eduard Zeckendorf, a Belgian doctor, army officer, and mathematician. Nineteen oh three Benjamin Spock, US rower, pediatrician and author. The one who made the book about children child care. Uh -huh. Nineteen ten we have Edmund Bacon, a US urban planner, architect, educator, and author. And I wonder if he's the one behind Urban Sprawl. Who is behind Urban uh -huh. Sprawl? Uh Urban Sprawl. Well, who is responsible for urban sprawl? Uh, from Ewing viewpoint, four factors cause urban sprawl. Customer preference, technological innovation, substance. So it's not telling me who invented urban sprawl. I don't think it's a singular man's invention, though. Anyway, uh, 1912, we have Axel Springer, a German journalist, publisher, or, and publisher who founded Axel Springer AG. Nice. 1921, B.B. Lau. Indian archaeologist. Their actual name is Braj Basi Lal. Let me add that in real quick. 1922, we have A.M. Rosenthal, a Canadian-born U.S. journalist and author, and her full name, uh, his full name, was Abraham Michael Rosenthal. All right. 1927, Ahmad Keenan, Israeli co columnist, I will say communist, Columnist, painter, sculptor, playwright, and novelist. Well, of course, he's a communist. He's an Israeli. 1936, Engelbert Humperdinck, an English singer and pianist. 1942, Wojciech Pazanki, the Polish film and theater actor. 1944, Robert G. W. Anderson was born on this date. He was, or he probably still alive. Um, English chemist, historian, and curator. What's his full name? Sure. Robert Jeffrey William Anderson, and he is still alive. He's 78 years old today. Happy birthday. Nice. Also, 1945, George Dredd. <laughs> yeah. Singer, English singer and songwriter, not lawmaker. Can you imagine Judge Dredd, like, you know, in his full cop uniform, like, and he just starts singing, Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> Yo, those music books. Talking out of term, violation. Like, talking out. <laughs> violation! It just shoots the no. guy! Oh my god! Somebody has to do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Talking out of turn is a social violation. <laughs> oh my god! 1945 as well, we have Bianca Jagger, a Nicaraguan US model, actress, and activist. But does she have the moves like Jagger? I know oh, Just no, Dread probably no, does. No. Up there uh, uh, on the stage, shaking. You know? <laughs> laughing at them, laughing at my dancing is a violation. I'm so surprised. Laughing, laughing at my dancing is a violation. <laughs> 1947, James Dyson. Oh, shit. English businessman who founded the Dyson Company. Is this a vacuum cleaner one? Yes. Yeah, cool. Very expensive vacuum cleaner and fan. Yeah. Three years later, Duncan Gay in 1950 born. Uh, he was a, he is an Australian businessman and politician. Nice. 1959, Ellen Best, Canadian animator, director, and producer. But was he the best? 1972, we have Paul Adcock, an English footballer. 1972, Dorinda Rock Johnson, U.S. Canadian wrestler, actor, and producer. I thought no, he was. 
His grandfather is. Okay. Yeah, because he wears yep. all those tats and everything, and I'm just like, you know, I thought he was from one of those. No, his grandfather is. TMI Leo. Okay. Also in 1972, uh, Ahiti Heinla, an Estonian programmer and businessman who co developed Skype. That's <laughs> cool. Yeah. 1973, Florian Hinkle von Donnersmark, German director and screenwriter. Yeah. 1979, Daphne Joy Foster, a Turkish, act, uh, Turkish U.S. actress, presenter, and VJ. What the heck is VJ? And it's not DJ it, it, on yeah, my pussy. source. It said VJ, so... Yeah, pussy. Well, that's what a, it's saying here. What the fuck is a VJ? Like, um... Video jockey, I'm guessing? Uh, I guess so. I'm trying to find it. it just says, Okay, here we go. There's a link. A VJ. Media personality. A video jockey, you're right. Did you pull that out of your rear end, or, or did you actually know this? I'm actually pulling that out of my ass. I'm just guessing DJ, you know, disc jockey. So I'm guessing that was a video jockey. Well, that, that makes sense. I never heard of a video jockey, but now I have. Now we have. Yeah. Also, eight, 1980, Vincent Stone, Canadian actor, senior voice actor, and director. Yeah. Moving on up into desk. 1203 BC. Mirror Pet, Pharaoh, Egypt. And then doing one hell of a time jump here, 373, we have uh, Athanasius of Alexandria, an Egyptian bishop and saint. 1945, William D. Lapole, first Duke of Suffolk, English Admiral. 1519, Leonardo da Vinci, Italian painter and sculptor and architect. Why did he do that? The of Ezio. The, no, uh, bro. Judge Dredd pops out. Racial violation. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see him a lot in Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood. <laughs> also, 7-Eleven, Lawrence Hyde, first Earl of Rochester. The English politician who was the first Lord of Treasury. Uh, 1880, we have uh, Eberhard Anheuser, a German-American businessman who co-founded Anheuser-Busch. Kind of okay. Alcohol violation. <laughs> so many violations. Also in eighteen eighty, we have Tom Wills, an Australian cricketer who co-created Australian rules football. Nineteen forty-seven, Dorothy Bin, German SS officer. Fuck her. Yeah. yeah. 1957, Joseph McCarthy, a U.S. captain, lawyer, judge, and politician. Is he the inventor of McCarthyism? I don't know. I think it's somebody else's name. I think so. Uh, McCarthyism. Uh, Senator Joseph McCarthy. No, this is him. Right, uh, rest in peace. Yep. 1963, Ronald Barnes, for third Baron Gormnall. English cricketer, peer... Politician, poet, author, and newspaper editor. That's a bit of a long uh, career right there. Yeah. 1972, we have J. Edgar Hoover, a U.S. citizen who was the first director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, also known as the FBI. Wasn't J. Edgar Hoover uh, uh, president? Or I guess not. John Edgar no. Hoover. He wasn't. Okay, so this, that was somebody else. That's Herbert Hoover. Hoover. Oh, okay, yeah. John Edgar Hoover. Wait, J. Edgar Hoover was the, you know, director of the FBI and also, like, closet homo. Oh, oh, he was the guy who who cross-dressed and such. Yeah. I thought and we were talking friends. about the president. J. J. Edgar Hoover also was friends with, you know... Michael Jackson? Uh, Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, so that's this is the guy. I kept thinking he was it was President Hoover. So this is the guy who gave her, what was it, air no, base yep. or something or tear gas? Tear gas. Tear yeah. gas. Uh, who was born today in 1977? Nicol Nicholas Magellius, U.S. principal dancer and charter member of the New York City Ballet. Ballet. 
1984, Jack Barry, a U.S. game show host and producer who co-founded Barry and Enright Productions. Okay. 2002, WT Tilt. English, Canadian mathematician, academic. Their full name is William Thomas Toot. 2005. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 2005, Wee Kim Wee, a Singaporean jur journalist and politician who is the fourth president of Singapore. 2011, Osama bin Laden, Saudi Arabian terrorist who founded Al Qaeda. Yeah, I don't believe he died on that date, but whatever. 2012, uh, Indang Rai Hayu Sidian Ingishi. Uh, Indonesian physician and politician who was an Indonesian Minister of Health. Mm. 2015, Maya Politskaya, Russian Lithuanian ballerina, choreographer, actress, and director. Now, is my mind too far gone when, like, you said Maya and immediately my brain started going, he Maya ha, Maya ha ha. No. <laughs> You're just fucking the path. <laughs> yes, I am. And last but not least, uh, well, actually, uh, yeah, I don't want to say not least. Uh, 2016, Afini Shakur died on the state. She was a U.S. music businesswoman, an activist, and Black Panther anti-white extremist. So. That's Tupac's mom, too. She was what? Tupac's mother. Oh. Oh, Shakur, okay. Yeah. Uh, mother of Tupac. Mother of Tupac. Okay. Anyway, that concludes the show. Once again, check the uh, description, the underbar, for any links that you may be interested in, which also includes... So in TV on Twitch. And everything Omni Coalition. For your dose of Passive Events Daily, we stream every day between 12 noon and uh, 3 p.m. Pacific time. 2 to 5 Central. Uh, for all of you and all of us, I am Xander. I am me. And you are you. And until you see us tomorrow, don't forget to look right and left at every intersection, rate five thumbs, and subscribe. Toodles. Let's go, Brandon.